ओम ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञान मूर्ति द्वंदातीतम त्रिगुण रहितम तस्य मस्यादि लक्षम एकम नित्यम विमल मचलम सर्वदी साक्षी हुतम भावातीतम त्रिगुण रहितम सद्गुरुं तम नमामि ओम गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरवे नम ध्यान मूल गुरु मूर्ति पूजा मूल गुरुपद मंत्र मूल गुरुर्वाक्यम मोक्ष मूल गुरु कृपा सद्गुरु भगवान की जय स्वामी जी महाराज की जय शिव हम माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वी आर टेकिंग द ट्वेंटी फोर स्टेंजा ऑफ चैप्टर सेवन नाउ this stanza is telling to us the why the person is not came for the direct direct spiritual meditation exercises because they do not know the effect and the characteristics of the existence parmatma अव्यक्त व्यक्ति मन्यते मामा बुद्धि परम भावना जानन्तो ममा व्यय मनुत्तम अव्यक्त व्यक्ति आपन्न मन्यते माम अबुद्धय परम भाव अजानत मम अव्यय अनुत्तम Lord Krishna is saying, all these things knowing, then the person is not coming to me and not doing my bhajan. Why? Why they are not doing the meditation of awareness? The abuddhaya. It means the foolish person. There, there is. There has no intellect of divinity. Mama, it means mind. Sar Anuttama, it means the supreme. Avyaktam, it means the immortal and without the destructive, without distraction. Param, it means uh, the ultimate. Bhavam, it means uh, being. Ajananta, it means uh, not knowing. Avyaktam, it means beyond the senses, mind, intellect, mood, and ego. Mam, it means mind. Uh, the Sat, it means true. Chit, it means the consciousness. Anand, it means the supreme pleasures of divinity, the supreme divine soul, Paramatma. They, they they see me like a human body. Vyaktim, it means the vyakti, the like a person. Apannam, it means uh, like uh, they get this uh, blindness. Manyate, it means accept. The foolish person seems me. Like a human body, like a bodily person, they do not know my supreme, undestructive, immortal, ultimate being. That I am beyond the senses, beyond the mind, beyond the mood, beyond the ego. They do not know my ultimate true satya. consciousness chit and supreme ocean of the pleasure anand satchidanand they do not me do not know my satchidananda swarupa so my dear friends this uh, this is the worldly meaning of this stanza now the what is telling the krishna about this stanza in the secret meaning krishna सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा 
the ultimate master, the only and only installation in the base of the millions of galaxies uncountable, the center of the all universes, the supreme power of all universes, telling to the Arjuna, why the person is not doing the special spiritual practices coming to me because they have no intellect of divinity, they are fool person, they foolish person, they have only seen their senses, sensory organs, sensory desires, they can see only the outer side of the world, they can see only their selfishness, they want only their physical body's uh, accommodations. They want only the pleasure of the sensory organs. They want the material and the food of their sensory organs. So, they never know the keen and micro presence of me because they have no intellect to see inside. They are totally blind to see inside. They are totally foolish in the spiritual, my divine path of enlightenment. So, my dear Arjuna, that's why the person never comes to me. They go to the fake gurus. They go to the fake exercises. They go to the fake places, they go to the false activities in the name of the religion. My dear Arjuna, it is very, very reasonable because I am not coming in the experience of the senses. I am the beyond the senses, so I am the Indriya Tita. I am I'm never come in the thoughts of your mind because I am the, beyond the thoughts, beyond the sankalpas and beyond the vikalpas. The all type of intellect cannot knowing me because the intellect is only the culture of experiences. The intellect is only the storage of your experiences, millions of life and day to day life and as the society govern you. So I am all the, I am beyond of all these things, so your intellect cannot be identify me. Why? I am beyond the mood, because your mood is depend on the, on the situation of your intellect and your mind and your senses. The mood is the totally effect of these things or your memories or your dominancy of your sentiments, of the dominancy of the, your hunger. So, you cannot see me by your mood. And all this the false presence and the false presence acceptance is your ego. So, I cannot come in the ego's grip. So, my dear friend, the total basic mistake of the man is that he think that he is the he is the he make his body he make by the flesh he make by the bones he make by the muscles so he think that the God is also like that the muscular body the skeleton of the bone and body like, like as a human. So when a person think like that about the avatara or about the Sadhguru or about the God, so there is a big illusion start in the society. There is the network of the false religious activities and the false religious as infrastructure automatically comes the very, very nice management in the name of the divine practices there occur and the intellect and the full person 
which has no intellect of the knowing me, they easily caught in this infrastructure and the network. So, my dear Arjuna, this is the main cause why the person and the seekers, they cannot come to me in the big number and the real seekers also. They are mesmerized and caught in these activities. The re rare and rest person can know me like the actual form that I am Satchit and I am Ananda. And rare and rarest person can see my direct and actual form of the supremity and the real faith, real uh, ultimate truth and uh, the real extreme consciousness and the real pleasure, my dear Arjuna. Because the person, the, the rare and rarest person, they knows me, I make them a tool, I make them a medium, I make them a, my worker, I make them a, my, uh, my teacher. That is called the Master Satguru. So, when the person is become the Master Satguru, they become like me, I transform it them also. They are pure form of Satchidananda Paramatma, they are not body. If a person seems them the pure Satchidananda Paramatma, he can easily transform it and cross this river of the Maya forever and he can liberate in the last destination of this Maya, he can be make his last birth. So my dear Arjuna, that is called Atma Sakshatkara. This stage is called Atma Sakshatkara. God is saying here he is a not man, he is not woman, he is not a person, he is a presence everywhere and his presence is shining in the master's heart. So, in the positivity and the negativity, both the Krishna is putting in front of the seeker of the world, they are telling how why not persons they worship the real existence God by the meditation of real meditation of awareness and they are telling about the masters why the persons they are missed their chance because they think that a master is also bodily person like them but master is not a body master is a holy presence of existence between you. If you are accept the master like that, you will be definitely cross this river of illusion it is called the Maya. If you will not think like that, you must take many many births. There is an example in the Mahabharata. Those persons they see the Krishna like the God, not like a man, they are crossed like the Vidura, like the Arjuna. Like the Uddhav, like the Gop and Gopis, like the real lovers of the Krishna at the time, they all cross the river of the Maya. They transform it into Satchidananda Paramatma. But there was the doubt in the mind of the Meera. Meera was also a gopi at that time. So Meera do not liberate. He, she liberated after 4,700 years after the Krishna. My dear friends, the Krishna is telling his secret in the Gita. Only seeker and lover can understand. The orators, the literary persons, and those persons, they want only name and fame in the name of the Gita, they will not understand. They cannot be liberate. My dear friends, the Krishna is telling this thing, it is an example in the Mahabharata. 
there was two person in the Mahabharata representing in the two type of the spiritual examples. One was the Duryodhana. He was the pure example of the ego and the darkness and the sensory hungers and the blindness like in this sloka telling, Bud telling Abuddhaya. The Duryodhan was Abuddhaya. And Arjun was a lover and the seeker and the real, uh, the real person of the second stream of liberation. When the battle of the Mahabharata coming to start, that was the peak time of the battle. The persons are gathering their power and the armies and the weapons and others. By this practice, the Duryodhan goes to near to the Krishna in the morning time, the Krishna was sleeping at that time. He see that Krishna is sleeping. He was an egoistic person. He was the proud person. He was the representative of Abuddhaya. Uh, so he sit near the Krishna's head, Krishna's pillow. And then Arjun came after. He is lover and respect. He respect in the heart to the Krishna. He knows that Krishna is not normal person. He knows that Krishna is a very special, superior person. Even he do not know that Krishna is Satchidananda at that time. It is the phenomena delivering before the delivering the Gita. But he is seeker. But he is lover. If you do not know the Master, but you only know only know that master is superior than you and you love the master, you respect the master, then gradually you will know the master after some time. When the sleep is complete, Krishna is awake, the natural thing, when a person will sit after the sleeping, he will sit upward to his feet, not upward to head. So, Krishna just see the Arjuna and ask Arjun, why Arjun you came here? Arjun told, I am coming for Duryodhan, interrupt Arjun, shut down your mouth, I am coming before you. So, this is the right to tell me first, you tell after. Krishna tell to the Arjuna, and Duryodhana, I see Arjun first and I see you after. No, no. I, even you see Arjun first, but I am coming here previously, so I have my right. After all, the Sadguru avoid the fight with any blind person. So, Sad, so Krishna say, ask what you want. Duryodhana say, Krishna, the big battle of Mahabharata is going on after few days and I am coming here to asking help with you, by you. Krishna tell, yes, I will help you, but I have a condition. Duryodhan tell, say what is your condition, I will fulfill. Krishna say, I have two things. One is my million persons army and another I am solidary, I am alone but without any weapon, I will not fight in the, any battle, I will only sit beside who will take me. So Duryodhan think because he was the intellectual less person. He was Abuddhaya. If a person is intellectless, he will not choose the God. He will choose the Maya. He will choose the physical things. He do not choose the existence. He will not choose the master. He will choose the master's money. 
he will choose the master's buildings he will choose the master's car he will choose the master's benefits this is the in intellectless person if a person is choosing physical things you must be suddenly understand this is a foolish person if a person is choosing enlightenment if a person choosing the divine love with the master if a person born to choose the teachings of the master you can understand that is the real seeker he will he will liberate so the egoistic duryodhana the foolish duryodhana say to the krishna he think that if i choose the krishna krishna is solidary without weapon he will not fight what will we take how why i take this krishna a person without weapon he do not want to fight what is the work in the battle of that person so duryodhana say i want take your army of millions soldiers so krishna say okay you can take and now arjun arjun say my master i do not want anything i want only you i want to die in front of you i please you live with me if you do not want to fight you do not want to take any weapon i am agree in each and every condition as you want krishna become the driver of the ratha nice card the fighting card of arjuna and the history is the evidence that duryodhan was killed and defeated with his brothers and all the all the armies and the arjun bad won that fight big fighting big battle so my dear friends this is stanza is giving you the inspiration and the teaching and the directive that if you choose the god then you can win the battle of this maya you can come out from the maya you can come out from all illusions you will be get enlightenment you will be get the supreme existing truth inside of you like the atma like the sachidananda because the god is sat he is truth god is chit he is the consciousness supreme consciousness he is the ananda he is the supreme pleasure of the world if you do not choose the god you will defeat again and again and you will go in the millions of the birth cycle death and birth the uncountable and unlimited pain and the sorrow you will be get if you do not choose the god so the teaching of this stanza is telling to you we must the choose the god we must choose the sadguru we do the meditation of awareness if we want to liberate from all illusion of the maya if you you, you will choose the god and goddess then you will be go in the path of the maya again and again because god and goddess they are also themselves they are not liberate they have the responsibility and the position so the from the stanza 19 to 24 the continuously krishna is telling krishna is giving the hard words like the abuddhaya like the hatha gyana like the mudha for them person they are doing the false practices in the name of spiritual path so the network of the false activities is grown 
and the millions of dollar of business in the name of the false religious activities going on this world and that's why because the person is the lack of intellect they do not know the precious path of enlightenment they do not respect the real master any time there is no deficiency of the master master always presents in every every era in every century i can give you the names of the masters kabir dadu nanak paltu ravidas gyaneshwar every 100 years there was the master but you do not you do not respect that master you do not identify that master you always think that master is the idol of the place and the bones like you if you if you think like that that master is body master is a physical body then you will not get the enlightenment anyhow master is not physical body master is the presence of the god existence if you want to know the this ultimate truth you must be do the meditation of awareness and i am your servant for this i will be sir all the seekers and lovers of the god all over the world if they want to know this truth if, if they want to liberation if they want to atma satchatkara if they want to supreme enlightenment if you want to cross the river of the maya if you the, the want if you the want to come out from this mesmerism of the maya hypnotism of the maya if you want to awaken and aware i will help them my body as my body is alive i will help all the 